33-yard attempt for the freshman. He missed from 47 near the end of the second quarter. This to try to give the Mountaineers a three-point lead. McAfee, kick on the way, and this one's got plenty on it. It's perfect. So there's the first three points of his college career. To try to give him an eight-point lead, kick is up, but it's perfect. The kick is up, and it is good. The freshman approaches, and he boots it away. It will not be returned. My goodness, it lands out of bounds over the back of the end zone. That thing looked like the Disney movie, <laughs> Son of Flubber. <laughs> Here's the pooch kickoff by McAfee. Loose ball fielded and caught by West Virginia. Here comes the call. There is no penalty on the play. The block was legal because the ball had gone 10 yards at the time of the block. First down. It was recovered by the Mountaineers, and the Mountaineers down 10 with 8.16 to go. We'll have the ball inside Louisville territory. Mountaineers down by 10. Snap comes back. The kick goes up, and that kick is good. 506, just the seventh quarterback ever to have a 200-yard passing and rushing game. McAfee is good here. Pat McAfee, 28-yarder this time, and splits the uprights. Perfect hold. Good kick. Pat McAfee's got it teed up in the 72nd Nokia Sugar Bowl in Atlanta. Is underway. Kick to Ramarcus Brown in a corner. He can't return it. Nobody knew anything about Slate. McAfee's kick again deep, and they won't be able to return it. Battle and Blue fits it in there. And again, McAfee, his third kickoff, his third touchback. True freshman trying to make it 31 14. And he's got it. A sophomore who kicked last year as a true freshman. Pretty reliable. Knocks it through. 26 yard attempt. It is up and it is good. And obviously, uh, this is an important three points with 618 left to go. McAfee's kick is up and uh, it is through. After the Mountaineers took the lead to 14 0 on a Pat White touchdown run, Mississippi State got great field position on this kickoff return. Pat McAfee made a superb open field tackle near midfield. We'll pick up the Bulldogs drive on a second and six. Wobbly snap put down and booted through. The far side. Brinkley. Got some room. Nice cut. Does he have the wheels? The kicker! The kicker did it again! The second week in a row, Pat McAfee saves further damage. Last week he did it at Mississippi State. He outran. A DB, Gessley Durbel, who's on the uh, team. And look at that, Pat McAfee getting major props on the sideline. Great job by Pat out of Plum, Pennsylvania. And Pat McAfee comes out of nowhere for the tackle, and that's why he was so happy on the sidelines. Right now, he can't wait till tomorrow because in, in that special teams film study, Coach Rodriguez will be patting him on the back. McAfee, a lot of confidence, bangs that one through. This is a 38-yard attempt. And West Virginia is on the board. Here's McAfee from 39 yards. Already made a 38-yard try. He gave them a way back. The last attempt by McAfee was blocked. This one, however, is good. His third made field goal. Pat McAfee now will take over as the number one punter because Scott Kozlowski struggled last week against Louisville. Remember, he kicked to the wrong side of the field, and it was returned for the touchdown. And this is what McAfee does, the directional rugby kind of punts, and that's covered very well. Instituted on this team after the loss to Louisville is he's come in and gives you that sort of rugby-style punt because Scott Kozlowski struggled against Louisville. Dominic Goodman, the dangerous return man, East has essentially had a round robin of playoff going on for the last couple weeks. McAfee's punt is a good one because it rolls out of bounds. So here comes Pat McAfee, 51 yards, his longest attempt of the season. Tough stadium for kickers. Trying to draw it back in, and he just snuck it in there. 
And the kicker is even chest bumping now for West Virginia. <laughs> this has a reputation of being a very tough place to kick. And when you get one in Heinz Field from 51, you've done something. <laughs> plays the angle perfectly. 33-yard field goal attempt for Pat McAfee. He hit already from 30. And Cray at 295 pounds, tackling White, who's listed at 185, which is probably generous. Ian Randolph catches it over his shoulder. Knocks this one through, and last year, he and Townsend teamed up to be one of the most potent special teams unit in the conference. And it bounces over their heads respectively, and what a punt this is going to end up being all the way down to the four-yard line. West Virginia punting. McAfee going to aim for the coffin corner. He drills this one through. Definitely let go of the football before he hit the turf. Here's the punt. And Willie Foster still looking for an opportunity to make a play. Has to call for the fair catch. See what happens on the second opportunity here for West Virginia. Different type of circumstance. Back of feet. Tied at 23. 53 seconds to go for Rutgers. McAfee, three for four today. This one coming from 42. And he is true. Jared Brown, very effective in the win over Rutgers, the triple overtime game. Here's the punt from McAfee. Great point guard. Give him the ball. Oh, and oh. free ball. Yes, it is. It deflected off one of the tech defenders. Yep. That's an unintentional onside kick. Ah. It sure is. Wow. <laughs> Who got it? They're still wrestling for it, which means Joe Anawai should be in the bottom there somewhere, and there's a flag. See, there it is. The blocker didn't see it. It actually blocked off two guys. It blocked off two different players for Georgia Tech, and then it was a free ball, and no one could see it but the West Virginia guys. And for the first time in 92 years, Marshall and West Virginia play in Huntington. It is taken by Darius Marshall, a terrific young true freshman, and Marshall breaks free. Darius Marshall has only the kicker to beat. He slows down and is taken down, and he is waving for the fans to scream. McAfee, who had only one punt last week for six yards, gets a heck of a lot more than six on that one. Span retreats and goes down near the seven-yard line. Mostly works with the running backs, and uh, they're going to have to draw up something else. McAfee with another hanging punt. Sneaks that through. They've got some new starters in the secondary that really shut down West Virginia's run game as McAfee's 31-yarder is good. Trying to get themselves going at home this week, this Monday night. McAfee from 34 yards, his second made field goal. And he does right down the middle. McAfee to kick off. It'll be Mike Holmes had a great return, a 40-yarder last time he touched it. He finds a crease, he's gone. McAfee, about the only guy that can get him. Holmes shucking and diving far side. And on the outside, McAfee does a great job for West Virginia of holding him out of the end zone. That running kick, oh, he got a good one. He got a great one, as a fact. And that's going to be inside the 10. No win conditions here, left hash. Got into it really well. McAfee has put three more on the board for the Mountaineers. It's 31 7 as the clock runs out. He sees you shut. Will be a 42 yard field goal attempt from the left hash. Plenty of leg. James Townsend is back deep. They're coming after the putter. He got it away though. And that might have hit a Rutgers player, I believe. West Virginia says they have it at the 30, and I think they do. On the right-hand side, watch this. Right there. Boom, in his back, and look at the heads-up play by West Virginia. They're on the ball. 
McAfee from 42 yards on the way, and it is right down River Street. The rest were quarterbacks. McAfee fakes the run, and now with the punt. And this one all the way down and perfectly stopped at the one-yard line. 40 yards in last year's meeting. Rugby puck to McAfee, who booms this one out of bounds. That's taken just inbounds by Guy, who tries to get the corner. And what a job by McAfee and the coverage team. Two steps in the rugby punt. Fielded at the 40. 28-yard field goal attempt from McAfee. And he's now hit 10 straight. So rugby punt. McAfee. Nice job. Just like a sandwich for Pat White. It's late in that night. Low kick. Gets past Guy. Rolls back to the one and he just falls down. No roughing the punter. No blocking the backs. Oh, what a Big kick. kick. Wow. He just killed this thing. What a punt by McAfee. And ordinarily, when you're that far backed up, you're only thinking catch it and kick it. Get it out of here. And now 71 yards. Flag down at the end of the play. McAfee just hit a rocket. Just looking to see if somebody doesn't cover up the way they're supposed to. Another good kick. Boy, great coverage too. Well executed. Tremendous 71-yard shot off the rugby kick. Nakamura, who's a pretty good kick returner, back at the 10-yard line. Low line drive kick. Nakamura has to let it go inside the 10. See so many different punt formations now in college football. This is Howard. A heck of a punt by McAfee from his own 12-yard line. And he doesn't go any further and lost the football. West Virginia's got it. Now Larry Taylor is back deep to receive this punt. The second best punt returner in Big East history. And he has chased all the way back to his own 10-yard line. What a punt by McAfee. What a field position change punt by West Virginia. So now Pat McAfee, 10 of 11 on field goal attempts this season, tries from 46 yards away. And he's got it. The punting unit came out. You have to punt the ball here at your own 45-yard line as McAfee sends one to the sideline. Taylor breaks a tackle. It does a pretty good job to get out to about the 17. But the animated kicker is good from 38 yards away. So this will be a 42-yard attempt. And in the closing seconds of the opening quarter. How about a nice punt return for the Sooners, too? It's Pat McAfee with that rugby-style punt. It's a good one. It backs Iglesias up to the 15-yard line. Iglesias breaks free of one tackler, but is taken out of bounds at the 16 by Darrell Jalla. Dominique Franks deep for OU. Punt. And McAfee, he has another good one on launch. Oh, boy. Franks fumbles, falls out! And OU goes out of the back of the end zone. And it bounces its way to Joaquin Iglesias, who starts the return at the four. Oh, flags in the backfield. And Iglesias turns the corner across midfield. McAfee in his way. And Iglesias is wrapped up by the kicker at the 33. It's not a coincidence there at all. But, it, you know, Pat, you're right. That highlights the importance of the quarterback yeah, position. Just, it really does. It's hard to stay healthy. If, you, if you've got a quarterback, you've got a chance. Iglesias running south to north. 15-second count by the official before the 25-second the clock was in effect. So Strong leg for McAfee. He does the punting and the place kicking fair catch called for. This one is long enough and good. Kick away from Smith, so the Buffs have dropped the second man. Low snap to the knees. McAfee puts the right foot to it, and this is a cannon. All the way back inside the 30, fair catch single made by Josh Smith. 
Kicking from left to right, high snap, haul down by McAvee to his right, puts it high in the air. Smith waits inside the 10, takes it to the seven yard line, dances a bit, grabs around the waist, hit a second wave, and they drive him back to about the 13 yard line. Waist high snap, McAvee puts the right foot to it. High spiraling punt. Smith is up. It bounces down at the 27. He lets it go by him. Rolls inside the 25. Snap, waist high. McAfee puts the foot to it. It's a dandy as well. Smith runs forward to the five yard line, dances, cuts back to his right, gets a nice block running along the goal line, tries to turn the corner, gets a second block, runs forward, gets hit at the eight yard line and hauled down. White, a great leader, great leadership qualities. McAfee under duress, gets that putt away, bounces inside the 20, has been very solid punting the football. Gets this kick away, and it's a line drive, it's a boomer. Span back at the 10 yard line. Nice open field tackle made, it's Trip Hale. Happy to hear that, McAfee with a 39 yard attempt, and he drills it. Converted on his last attempt. Plenty of leg on this one. Rushing the football when you have a lead, and they have done that successfully. Darius Marshall on the kick return. And Marshall has some room across the 40. Into West Virginia territory. Kicker to beat, and it's McAfee again. For the Scarlet Knights. Two years ago, McAfee had a 75-yard punt against the Scarlet Knights. Another fair catch, just inside the 15-yard line. Oh, that's Mason okay. Robinson. McAfee at about the 24-yard line. And this one goes to uh, Campbell. Right down the middle. And back deep to get it. Ryan Howard standing at his own 20-yard line. Good punt here. And it backs Howard all the way up to the 11-yard line, and he is immediately hit. 63 of those came on that one scoring drive. So in their other five possessions, only 55 total yards for West Virginia in the first half. Fumble. Other than that, he has been perfect this year. This one is up, and it is good, and he is the new points leader all time in West Virginia. So he passes Mr. Slayton. McAfee, by the way, is the all-time scoring leader now in West Virginia history with 333 points and counting. Pat McAfee, who has a great leg, but often struggles with the shorter range field goals, puts one up, and it is true. Mental toughness for players. Go out there in short sleeves. <laughs> yeah. Shannon thought about it and decided to bring it out of the end zone. Good decision. Pass the 20, maybe a real good one. Mario Fannin going the other way. Only McAfee to beat, and he stumbles in. Auburn will have great mm -hmm. field position at the 31 yard line after a scintillating kickoff return of 69 yards. Absolutely, it seems to be. Here is Pat McAfee from 42 yards out. It, it was great for everybody to see a, a college football player uh, doing the right things, and so I think that was good for everybody. Yeah, that was a very good side. Brian, congratulations. Thanks for uh, calling in, and uh, best wishes for the rest of the year. McAfee from 52 yards out. Coach trying to put the game into overtime. His longest was 52 yards. He was 9 out of 10 for the year. Split the upright. Playing quarterback at the collegiate level. McAfee almost had that block. And he got run into the no penalty flag. Great punt, though, by McAfee. It's down at the two-yard line. Adam Hughes down there for the Mountaineers. Louisville defender. Oh, it was a fake field goal, and then the quick kick. It bounces inside the 10. Great job by McAfee. That's why he's one of the best in the country. Has put 17 punts inside the 50. Excuse me, inside the 20. And, oh, my. That's going to be 18 inside the 20, down to the 3. And he should celebrate that kick. That's a 48-yard punt, and Pitt will have awful field position. Panthers are recruiting his brother, Brock, who's an outstanding tight end defensive line prospect and becoming a Pitt. And I'll tell you what, that punt was nearly blocked and instead winds up going inside the 20-yard line. And he hammers it home, so you've just got to catch that football. And the feed from 26, high snap, and you see the wind. Remember, Pitt very good at blocking kicks, not getting this one. And McAfee brings out the driver here. Porter's got a little room on the right side and closed quickly. That is a heck of a kick. That is not easy conditions off a fresh side. A kicker and punter from Club, Pennsylvania, a Ray Guy Award national finalist, and the school's all time leading scorer, number 40, Pat McAfee.
Edwards, the deep man, and uh, the ball is gotten away. I thought it was blocked. In fact, the defender must have run past it as Edwards loses the ball and now is going to be tackled at the 32 yard line. Watch how far up the leg he hit. I mean, he's past the football. Yeah. He didn't go to the point where they kick it, and I don't see where that ball's tipped. So this should have been a roughing. Unbelievable kick by McAfee. He's a 69 yards is what they're giving him credit for now because of where the ball was fumbled yeah. until possession was maintained. I, I didn't see the ball move. It came out as a spiral. I don't think it was touched. So this should have been a roughing, and, and that's exactly what McAfee is asking for. The defender did not touch the ball. Therefore, we have roughing the kick personal foul. Roughing the kicker. Number 33 on the defense, 15-yard penalty, first down. And, and that's something that Pat White has not been able to do up until this season, not really asked to do. Well, McAfee booms this one all the way back to the 11-yard line as Edwards tries the far sideline, and he just runs out of bounds. High pass, good job by the holder. It's got a ton of distance, and it's got a ton of accuracy. Let's see if Pat McAfee can hit one from 42 yards, far hash mark. And he's got plenty of distance and again got plenty of accuracy. Pat is right down the middle. That is going to be roughing the kicker. The ball is back inside the 10 yard line. And the tackle being made before the 10 yard line but let's see I don't think this is going to be that's yeah, personal foul. Kicker, roughing number two on the defense 15 yard penalty first down Quentin Washington is the man who who <laughs> came in to hit McAfee let me ask you something McAfee's excited that he's getting run into <laughs> he's I mean he loves contact the, yeah. the head coach said he loves to get down the field and to make uh, yeah. to make tackles well and this is this is another huge penalty and West Virginia lines up so funky on their punt protection. <laughs> McAfee is a special guy. I, I think talking about NFL futures, I think that Pat McAfee. I do too. Maybe punter, hey. maybe kicker, maybe ball. I, do, I think you do both. Yeah. McAfee to punt. Some of the Mountaineer fans don't like it. They're booing this wide open offensive game. They're not going to try to go for it when they need a yard. Fair catch made by Kendrick Bernie to give West Virginia the lead with nine minutes to go in the third. He was a finalist for the Ray Guy Award as the best putter in the country. One of three finalists. He was also one of the 19 semifinals, 19 others. He was one of 20. The best kicker in the country, the Lou Groza Award. And he did that one beautifully down to the one yard line. The Mountaineers are well aware of that. McAfee gets it off. Another good one. Oh, and a fair catch made with only one defender running down in the direction of Kendrick Bernie. 50 yard punt no return if that's the last act as a Mountaineer by McAfee it's a fitting conclusion to a tremendous career a young man who got a tremendous amount of heat in West Virginia when he struggled with field goals in their shocking loss to Pitt and it looked like they were going to play for the national championship his car vandalized got a lot of angry messages thought about not coming back for his senior year. And he said, were it not for Bill Stewart getting the head coaching job, he wouldn't have come back. He said, okay, coach, I'll do it for you.